Hello friends, so today I am going to teach you how you can make shapes and patterns on scratch. So here I come to scratch, so first of all you need a extension. We need pen block to create pattern and shapes. So pen block is basically an extension. We will use an extension, pen block extension to create beautiful patterns and beautiful shapes. So how to add extension? First let's learn how to add extension. So here you can see this plus point. You have to just click on it when you click on it you have to see so many extensions are available here we need pen block extension so let's click here now you can see these all are the extensions which are available on scratch so you can add these extensions and you can explore more so today we are going to add a pen block so just click here and just wait and here you can see all the blocks of pen now come here so this is the extension and in this way you can add this extension now let's delete this cat because we don't need the cat. Right now we need a new sprite. So here we know that how to create a new sprite. In the previous class we learned. So click here and you can choose any sprite. So here I'm going to choose a ladybug. Just click here and then wait for one or two seconds. And now you can see a ladybug here. So with the help of this now we are going to draw the pattern. So first of all in the previous class we learned that we have to drag the blocks into the script area and then the program will done. So first you need an event block. Event block means how you want to start your program. I want that my flag when is click then my program will start. So that's why I'm choosing this block. After choosing this block you have to set the position of your sprite. So here you have to go to motion and choose this go to x and y. So let's set, set the x coordinate and y coordinate to 0 and 0. When you set them 0 0 your sprite will come into the middle of the screen. So we need this. So this is the set position set. Now we need a pen block. Go to the pen block and choose erase all. Erase all block will erase your previous lines. Then you need pen down. Pen down will draw for you. Now we have to set the pen size. So choose this block. Set pen size to 1. Now you can increase the size to 5 or any size which you want. If you, when you increase the size of the pen, your pen line become wider. So here we choose this. After choosing this, now we need a loop. So go to control and we need a forever block. So just drag this block here and drop it here in this way. So after this forever block, we need a color. We want that it will draw a colorful thing for us. So let's choose this change pen color by 10. So it will draw a different thing for you in different 10 colors. Now after this, now we need that our block or sprite will move. Then we need a moving block. So move 10 step is a moving block. Put it here and turn 15 degree. These both are the moving blocks. Now increase the degree. Increase the steps to 100 and increase the degree to 150 like this. And it's done. Okay, this is our coding. This is our program. So we done our program in the script area. And now you can see on the right side, you can see the output. So just click on the flag. And now you can see the output. So the output of this program is drawing a star. So you can see it draw, draw a very beautiful star for you with multicolors. Because we choose this block, change pen color by 10. That's why it's drawing a multicolor star for you. Now click on this red button to stop the program and then the ladybug will stop. Okay. But each time when I click on my flag, it will draw same star for me. So how can I increase or decrease the size? If we put two more blocks, then we can do this. So go to sensing and choose this input block. Put it up the forever block. This sensing block is basically input block. In this input block, change the question and write how many steps. So ladybug will ask you how many steps it move and you will give the steps from your keyboard and then it will move. Then we need this answer block and fit it into the steps like here. Now let's try this. Then let's see what happened. Now it's asking you to how many steps. So let's give it 100. If you give it 100, it draws a small star for you. Stop it, run it again. Now give a big value like 300. So if I give 300, it draw this star for me. You can also increase the size of stage by clicking on this button and you can see the stage in a bigger view. So you can see it's draw this colorful rainbow star for me. Stop this, run it again. Now give a 400 value. So when you give a 400 value, it draw a bigger star for you. So here with the help of input block, you can increase or decrease the size of your star okay so now let's change the degree we change the steps and then we see this happen if we change the degree then what happened let's try it so change the question 
to how many degrees like this and put this answer inside this degree one because we are going to make the change in degree one that's why and you can increase the steps to 300 so it will draw a bigger pattern for you a bigger image or bigger drawing if you want you can increase the steps now let's run it now it's saying how many degrees so let's give it 145 degree and enter so now look at the pattern you can make the size bigger and you can see let me make it bigger like this okay so now let's give it 145 degree angle now look at the output now it's a drawing a beautiful pattern for you so each time it will draw a different pattern for you this is so interesting now click again now give a another angle like uh, let's give a big one 455 look at the pattern when you give 455 you can see a colorful and very beautiful pattern and very big size so each time when you change the degree you can give 777 778 any big degree and then you can see a different different drawings on your screen these are the colorful patterns you can also give triple five and now look at the pattern so each time the pattern will change for you by changing the degree so it's so easy to make the pattern make the colorful pattern on scratch with the help of these blocks you can easily make the colorful pattern on scratch you can also change the degree and you can also change the step changing the steps and degree you can make these colorful and beautiful patterns okay kids so now let's draw something else with the help of these blocks let's make a little change in it so go to motion block and choose a degree put it here in the in third block and change the degree to 135 by pressing from keys from your keyboard so now we have degree 135 so go to motion we need one more block scroll down and here you can see if on edge bounce back use this block we need this block here okay so now let's run it and see what happened so it's saying how many steps so let's give it 100 steps from your keyboard put 100 in the input panel and then click on this tick one and now you can see a different pattern on your screen so it's also very colorful so you can make different little changings and you can see different patterns so let's change their setting let's pick put it up let's do some changing and then we will see that it will change or not so let's put the color down okay now let's see it change or not let's put 100 again now look at the pattern each time when you put a different value your pattern will change now look so it's so beautiful now stop it and now you can make more changing like put this edge one down to the move one then let's see what happens put 100 input in the input panel and now see the pattern so with a little changing you can make different patterns and different colors with help of different colors on your screen so it's so beautiful pattern and it will move forever because we put this blocks inside the forever block that's why it's moving forever if you want that your block will repeat it themselves if you want repetition in your code then you can use forever block so look so you can also make different different changing in this code the code was same in all cases but we make a little change and we can see the beautiful pattern in it